Virginia's governor-elect touring homeless day shelter, the Lamb Center in Fairfax County on Monday, ahead of appointing the first member of his cabinet. He'll appoint Amy Gadara as his education secretary. This is a moment for us to absolutely innovate in public school systems, to innovate particularly in, in our K through 12 to start with. Gadara founded a nonprofit called Data Quality Campaign, which focuses on data collection and sharing of public education. Yunkin says Gadara will restore high expectations for Virginia's schools. What we've seen in Virginia over the last eight years is a degradation in standards and expectations and as a result, test scores dropping. SOL scores have dropped in the last eight years, but while Gadara was at Data Quality Campaign, her team published this report outlining how to measure success in social emotional learning rather than test scores exclusively. The organization, which Gadara left in 2018, also has an entire section devoted to equity, saying students of color have faced inequities in their treatment and opportunities to learn. All while Yunkin campaigned on banning critical race theory, a subject not even being taught in Virginia schools. Yeah, there's a big difference between understanding where we've come from and who we are and actually pitting children against one another. But is that happening? And this is happening. CRT aside, one of the biggest shifts Yunkin is planning is an expansion of public charter schools. Virginia currently has seven. Yunkin wants to open 20 more in his first year, saying this gives parents the voice they deserve in their child's education. Reporting in Northern Virginia, Drew Wilder, News 4. Now, the top Republican in Virginia's House of Delegates says he is backing Amy Gadara. Todd Gilbert says tonight she has the kind of experience parents have said they want in our education leadership. Sean?